My husband told me we were going on vacation. <laughs> Everyone like happy feet. We didn't catch you on FaceTime, but we wanted to show you where we are at the moment. Um, it is pretty awesome and we think you'd like it. So this is the sea. We are on the frozen sea and these are frozen waves and look how beautiful it is. My husband told me we were going on vacation. Not a workation, there would be no work whatsoever, no social media, nothing at all, no extracurricular activities. And surprisingly, I panicked. If you want it, if you want this, it's work. Oh, this is a sure way to mess yourself up. Work like hell. Yeah, that you have to work hard is silly. Well, I mean, you just have to put in, you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. It's not good information. In fact, it's a lie. What? I said I got the hustle muscle. The idea of working hard is silly. Work. Hard work. Working hard. Work hard. Hard work. Work harder. Work hard. Hard work. Hard work. 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 So what is it? Should we work hard or is it a lie? When Jack asked me to go on a completely work-free vacation, I honestly panicked. We are constantly told we have to work so hard and work all the time. I think I really internalised this hustle culture and also really enjoyed it. I really enjoy working. So this one really insignificant trip just to go away it got me thinking about my relationship with work when i was younger like all parents my parents literally told me to work hard all the time i feel like i did that but i also had a lot of fun honestly now it's my mom telling me naomi stop working <laughs> i'm like but i want to i enjoy it I always thought I had a positive relationship with work and to some extent I still do. <laughs> I liked the idea that hustle culture gave you ultimate responsibility over your outcomes. I liked that I could control a situation by my work effort. I feel good when I have done all that I can do and then I just leave it up to the universe to make things happen. But I guess when Jack asked me this time, the fear that I felt, actual fear, I feel embarrassed to tell you this because I'm always like mindfulness, but I felt actual fear because I felt like there's, there's so much I want, like I need, like I need to actually work. I felt as though I was a failure instantly because I was going to take a few days off work i was like what is going on i'm obviously really mindful i really like meditation i like hiking i like walking i like being in nature wow look how pretty it is i love spending time with my husband but i realize i do those things so that i can work more like the whole reason i got into all of these things is because i was thinking how can i be more productive how can i work smarter harder faster and I realised that all these facets had to be good for me to work. But what that really means is like my life revolves around work. Now, I'm not going to penalise myself for that because it's got me where I am. And quite frankly, I'm really happy. I'm a, most of the time. Most of the time, I'm really happy. Can't say I'm happy all the time, but most of the time, 
I am really, really happy. I think life is all about maintaining a harmony and a balance between your family life and relationship life, your leisure time and fun fun life, and also your work balance. And the main point is finding pleasure. I think we're all different and we all find joy in different things. Oh my god, that's so precious. Why didn't they tell you, you must study joyfully? Why didn't they tell you, you must work lovingly? Only when you're in pleasant states of experience, does your body and your brain work at their best. As much as I like work, I reflected on the idea that I didn't want to take time off and I thought, this isn't right and I went back to basics I asked myself if money was no object where would you be I like asking myself that question because it guides my life to make decisions based on joy and I feel like when I base decisions on joy instead of fear they tend to be amazing and I'm so glad I chose to follow my joy. I just want to run across it. Do you think I can make it without falling? There's only one way to find out. You have to count me down. All right, three, two, one, go! On ice, baby. Thin ice. And I'm on the wave. This is the sea. The sea. Please, I love you too much. Don't <laughs> drop in. It's very solid. Thankfully. Wow. I just want to scream. I was standing on a wave. This is a wave. And I'm standing on it, literally riding a wave. I want to say I've been under a wave. Whoa! I hadn't even seen it. Oh my god. <laughs> Just under a wave. Oh my god, that's bad. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is actually... What you doing? I'm in a way. <laughs> I feel as though we can easily get into a place where work and our future goals consume us. And I know there's a rhetoric that says instant gratification isn't good, but I also think delayed gratification is terrible because... It's always looking to the future that is unknown in the hopes that it will bring something better. But tomorrow just never comes. I never understood that cliche, but it's because tomorrow is always tomorrow. I'm running away. <laughs> when you get to tomorrow, you won't say, now I've come. You'll be like, oh, there's another tomorrow. But you just never know what's happening. I think there is 
a way where we can be happy now and do all the things that we want to do now and still work towards our future goals and towards our future visions. It's going to be a really good week. I walk the borderline. I love the feeling of the sun on my face. Something. <sighs> it's been so long since we've had some sunshine. Glorious. You'll never comprehend to reality. <laughs> I'm alive, but I don't fit into reality. You can do this. You can do this. I thought it was a disguise. Think sexy thoughts. <laughs> Honestly, on top of the world right now. On top of the world! Honestly, we could be at the North Pole right now. This is crazy. Who will win? Who will win? I'll set up a finish line with the camera and we'll race from there to the finish line. You seem And when I wasn't winning races, we did puzzles, read some books, and just enjoyed each other's company. Whilst I do believe it's important to work hard, and I do believe that you can only get your goals when you work hard or work a lot. When you love what you're doing and you are intentional about what you do, it doesn't feel that hard. I am lucky. I managed to just always go after what I wanted. And so majority of the time when I ask myself, what would I be doing if money was no object? I find that the answer is exactly what I'm doing now. And that is a friggin epic place to be. What do you love doing? Quit working and start doing what you love and you'll never work again. Now you think about that for a while.